Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels where I'm going to use creative mode to try out a few ideas. In particular I want to try and use the algae fuel to get to orbit and see if I can. Uh, there were also other ideas like building a 2D Soyuz and I've got, I've got other theories I want to try out here. But first I wanted to see what happens when we go continue here. Uh, so it still seems like we can do continue and it looks like actually it sets us to before we launch the orbital mission. So we still have the mission that we have there that I didn't want to do. We still have conversation with Sid here and we could probably pick up these two challenges. And I don't even want to talk to that person. Uh, so potentially we can actually get the 300,000 to fund the next base thing. So we don't have to start all over in order to try and get the other endings uh, so that would be nice or for that matter the which we call it the ultimate engine here so we don't have to start and do a speed run of it in order to do the museum revenue deal so yep that is interesting and worthwhile to know but for this time I will go ahead and go into cre uh, creative mode and do that, but we might still want to do the career mode and uh, try and be completionists about it. So that is available to us should we want to do that. Also speedrunning might not be that bad considering now I know how the game works so I can see what the optimal path might be and you guys can try and finish it faster. So complexity, we have no complexity limit here and I we can build as heavy a thing as we want to. So what I want to do is use the algae barrels <laughs> in order to get to orbit and the pool uh, stuff. Let's try and build a, a rocket like this because, you know, as far as efficiency goes, there's no downside. I just want to see what kind of payload to orbit we can get. Um, we'll still have the cluster engine. I will try, maybe we should have a two stage rocket just for fun. I, I can only zoom out this much though. I wonder if they'll like someday decide to make a 3D version of this game. <laughs> I mean the parts are in 3D actually so we don't need a super awesome pump to do this. I want to have structure. I want to make it look like a real rocket. We're doing elegant design bureau things again darn it. I mean we could put it off page and then pan. So we could make a bigger rocket than just uh, zoom suggests. And I wanted to use the pool parts. I want to make a heavier rocket than we ever did before. So as far as I know we never really get a better connector. Still don't know about the change part orientation. Okay, I suspect that this will be way too powerful, but we've got really strong structure, so that might save us. Might. Hmm, we might need some combination of the round dome and this, because I think just one won't do. And I don't like the round dome shape in general. For a pointier shape. Uh, this engine is just the right size to not fit when we have a decoupler and gimbal. Great. So much for compact. Large bell engine is worse. Maybe this square adapter. Seems a bit long though. Well, this is not that heavy a rocket, so my guess is it's not going to get to orbit right now. It's only 841 kilograms and most of that is not fuel. But we'll see where it goes because we do have a lot of thrust so it's possible it's possible that that might help. Yep I'm interested to see what map they put us on because of course there were different locations. Let's see what happens with this. Anything? Oh well let's do aerodynamics. It hasn't warned me about aerodynamics. Apparently the pool parts are perfectly aerodynamically happy always. I guess. But I'll, I'll be nice and put some fins. For show. 
There, does that look like a nice rocket? Let's find out. This scene where the rocket gets built is probably the signature scene of this game. Oh wow. Um, I feel like I'm a bit close. Aren't I? And this is probably not the map I was intending to be on. But okay. Fine. Uh, let's get some data out before we launch. Okay, go. I can't see anymore. Okay. Okay, we'll try to make orbit. Gosh, it's going fast. Obviously need less of a turbo pump or more engine. I mean, uh, more fuel, not more engine. Looks like a halfway decent booster kind of thing. Gotta admit. Okay, we'll give it a try. Alright, we are on the second stage. Okay, well, that definitely did not get anywhere near where we want to be. This, again, lots of structural mass going on here. Actually, uh, not that as much as I thought. Well, this is only the upper stage. The lower stage had the rest. So, yeah. Let us improve upon this. Maybe side boosters with just fuel. Because we really don't need more engines. You never actually need more than one engine per stage in this game, I don't think. Um, like, uh, yeah, as far as engines. Oh, no, let's just finish. Oh, we do get the, the tags and everything here, huh? And we get these comments still. And up and down boats. Like ratio. Anyway. Oh, I, I want that rocket. So. Side boosters. Of. Fuel. Oh, no, no, not that many. Well, someday maybe. A lot of connecting will need to be done. And then we're going to have to have the decoupler. At least the uh, decoupler has fuel feed through it. So I'm gonna have a gate there. Uh, well, there's some bad aerodynamics on the decoupler. Hmm. I think we might just deal with that. We could probably tuck them in a little bit better, but let's just deal with that for now. Well. We're gonna have an algae heavy here. Heaviest rocket I've made so far, I think. Nearly 1.7 tons. I think that's all connected, right? But we need to make sure to assign things. Uh, trigger with one is fine there. And um, we'll also have this gate trigger with one. So that the fuel starts flowing through here. But it's only these top two tanks that would be reserved. I don't know. Uh, well, let's see what happens. That's a lot more algae fuel. Let's see if it even balances. Oh gosh. Um, this is really close. <laughs> We're getting this camera before. Okay. Go. Oh, it still goes up. All right. Oh, oh, okay, fine. We're going this way. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! They are in a... Oh, I used the wrong key, I think. Whoop! Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm using up and down for one set of gimbals and then left and right for the other set. Okay, launch. I think it was left or right I was supposed to be using. Ooh. Very vigorous. Wonder how much thrust weight ratio this thing can take structurally. Okay, I think I'm got. Can we? I don't know if. Okay, there we go. Dropping the boosters. Ooh, a little bit of a collision, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, stage two. That didn't give us too much extra. We need to reserve more fuel. Uh oh, things things have happened. Oh right, I need to gimbal on this one now. No, I think there's just a little flex sometimes. It's got no roll control. And right now it's showing. 
Well, we've, we've got... Oh, oh, oh. How do we get roll control? That, that wasn't a problem before because, you know, it was 2D. It's been 2D. Why are you making me worry about roll control? Okay, 4.25 kilometers per second now. Firmly in space, but... Uh, we've got a roll procession. I don't know what that's about or why we got it. Do we need fins still? Maybe we need fins here too. No, well, let's upload the video, why not? Trident. Definitely trident. Button masher. What does it say? Triggering five different button sensors. Yeah, we don't get any new subscribers or follows from this. But we do get the views. That was many more views. Half a million. Crazy. The Steam link. Publish video on Steam Workshop. Huh. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, we, we should do that sometime. Analytics. Oh, they've got all sorts of details here. I never looked at that. But it does say total subs gained. Combos. Never even looked at this while playing the career mode. But I guess potentially this could have gotten 3,440 subs. But I don't think it actually did. So I'm going to put a gate on this as well. So we're only feeding through the outer tanks. I don't think that'll be enough to do it though. Maybe we should just go with a single stage, considering all the dry mass we're carrying. Hmm. I didn't feel like we needed the pump here, but then the actual tanks are really, really low feed, so... Oh, by putting the fins here, we can cover up the, the decouplers and prevent them from getting aerodynamic issues. So that's a good deal. Any other stray aerodynamic things? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's try this. Oh, how did I get uh, one point? I thought we were closer to halfway. Well, I guess that is not too far from halfway. In other words, half of our mass is fuel. Okay, launch. Might want some data. It is still rotating though. I didn't want acceleration. Okay. 4G's. We aren't even carrying a payload per se, so... Oh! Um, oh, there's booster set. Okay, there we go. Uh, 8G's. <laughs> so... Okay, going. I don't know. That's a lot of G's. Probably a l smaller turbo pump is okay. Nice that it doesn't all break apart immediately though. Definitely an advanced rocket compared to what we were doing in career mode, but I have no idea how many complexity points this is. They should just show us what the complexity number is. Even if it doesn't matter. Okay, that's the end of that. 4.12 kilometers per second. Not very fast. Hmm. I think maybe the pool parts are definitely holding us back. Making it look nice is hard. Well, as long as we get to use those. Hey, is it always going to be video number one? I, I could have sworn the last one was number 111. Let me say 112. Yeah, we had two video 111s. Oh well. I mean, obviously we need quite a lot of structure here for the fuel feed, but we could potentially cut down on dry mass dramatically by using some trash. Well, not trash, yeah, scrap. We want the ladder again. Ladder is just five kilograms. One of these pieces, eight. So we're becoming less elegant. It's one option. Another option is even more overwhelming power, of course. But we are going to have to get rid of that turbo pump 
or this is all gonna break apart because we're not gonna have enough structural integrity anymore. Actually, that isn't as much. The tanks themselves are so much dry mass. Cutting out these other things isn't saving us as much as I thought it might. Of course, the real critical thing is the mass on the upper part here. And maybe our double nose coning is excessive. I mean, of course, we can go down to the PVC cones and such. So we've lightened that up up there, lightened it down here except for the core. Hmm, we have substantially less thrust here. I don't know. Will it break apart? Will it get further along? I don't think it'll make orbit, not with this ratio still. We've saved about 100 kilograms, which is good, but probably not good enough. How's the arrow? Oh, there's a little bit of arrow issue here. I sort of like the clear section on the pool, pool tubes. It's fancy. More rockets should have that. No, <laughs> not practical. Okay. Oh, it's not getting off the ground. Oh, now it is. Oh, very Saturn one. Uh, well, Saturn one too, but uh, Saturn five as well. Oh gosh. Oh, actually, uh, anyway, <laughs> there could have been a bigger explosion. All right, uh, yeah, very Saturnish in general. The really slow rise. I guess we can always use these sort of things. None of the thumbnails show it actually going up. Okay, it's always video 111 because that's where I am in the career mode, I suppose. Hot pump it is. Um, but that's too big, I think. I yeah, will have two of these instead. Well, it's pretty close to going up anyway. Oh, we could probably take off the redundant nose cones on those. Okay, launch. Oh, it's still not working. Okay, um... I need angle. I need angle. No, no, it's too. Uh, okay, I can gimbal. I can gimbal. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Ow. Okay. But I thought we had a little bit more thrust. That's a, that's a good video. Hmm. I thought we'd have substantially more thrust. Anyway, let's get rid of these redundant nose cones. Uh, I swear the pop pump was too strong and we'll probably break up but darn it let's go okay go well, let's see, we need something in between, darn it. Okay, start going sideways. I need to zoom. All right. We are on our way. It's a lot of thrust. We can use some of the little SRBs as separatrons, so that's sort of nice. Okay, stage step. Oh, wow, whoa, 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 okay. Surprised it lasts so short a time. I must. I really need to check that. Um, uh oh. I think it broke apart. Oh, are we in control now? I'm confused. I'm confused. It went to the other thing, so I thought we had lost control. Uh, apparently, we're back to this now. And we're not going substantially faster than last time. Yeah, 4.34. Hmm. We might have to single stage it. Let's see. Let's see if we just take off the top stage. What happens? Trigger with one. Oh, this says trigger after five seconds. That's why. Shoot. Okay. Trigger with one now. Let's try that again. But I don't think we're gonna get to orbit like this. Let's see. 
try and be more aggressive about the turn. Okay, staging. Well, hopefully that'll be better. Well, we broke 5 kilometers per second. 5.5. .5. But clearly we still need... We, we should just pile on some more tanks. And we can make it. Okay, well, this is looking more and more like some messed up Falcon Heavy here, but I have added two more tiers of tanks, basically doubled the core tankage and connected it all up in a dazzling array of connections. I also added back the fins here because we removed the upper stage, uh, we lost the fins that were protecting the decouplers from aerodynamics and so I put those back so that we have that there and hopefully that'll help. So that is the situation. All of the fuel up here is flowing through the same gate that we already had so it shouldn't be a problem. We should still be able to control it and wait until the booster fuel separates before we go on to it. You'll notice that I've removed the pool structure from the core except for this bottom one. Uh, it's not that that heavy compared to the ladders, so we'll just keep it on for now. Uh, if we have to go all PVC pipe, it's going to be rough, but anyway, we will see what happens. I don't know if I should put these like a little bit tighter. The decoupling sure does happen a little bit lopsided, so uh, I'll have to pay more attention to exactly in what way we need to fix that. Oop, this side is a little bit lower than that side. Anyway... Uh, yep, let's go with it and see what happens. Yeah, yep, 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 all right. Uh, let's get the data and hope it doesn't flop onto me here. Okay, and launch. Well, it goes up. Very interesting. <laughs> interesting, disturbing, whatever. Anyway, it's uh, neater than the rockets I built in the actual career mode, so, you know. Still an improvement. And, and eco-friendly, apparently. Okay, staging those off. Okay, no, uh, 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 come on. Ooh. Ah! Whoa! No, I didn't want to go that way. Oh, I got messed up by a sudden turn. Let me try once again. We're not gonna get quite there. Ah, let's do a redesign. I meant to check whether that one tank would explode on us. Experimental biofuel. But it's a small tank. I mean, it is more mass efficient than this one. Hmm. I'm gonna make a temporary switch, just out of curiosity's sake. We're just gonna have one of these here and connect it up and see what happens. I think that'll pretty much tell us the answer, so... Okay, let's just see. Will the experimental biofuel tank still blow up on us? That's really all I want to know. We really don't need it right now. I don't think uh, its flow rate is particularly good for us, but let's see. Now we haven't activated yet because it's on the core. So, okay, it doesn't kill it right away with it on. That's one thing. But we'll see whether it kills the rocket when that tank activates. Okay, getting ready to activate the core. Okay, core activation. It would seem like it doesn't automatically blow up. But because we weren't carrying as much fuel, we went slower. An upper stage might be better than this. But it's actually a question mark. Because of the efficiency of the bottom engine. Now, as far as these tanks are concerned, I don't know. Maybe we can remove the turbo pump if we put these guys on the boosters. 
Okay, so we've added one of the experimental biofuel tanks on this side, and I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so now we have two experimental biofuel tanks here that have a very high feed rate, but that only be useful for a very short period of time. Very, very short period of time. Three seconds. <laughs> so, boy, I, I at some point need to make a rocket that actually requires the industrial pump. That would be something, huh? But isn't it better just to have two of the pot pumps? I mean, one pot pump is eight kilograms per second. Two of them is 16 kilograms per second and 30 kilograms. This one is 45 kilograms and more than three times the complexity of the pot pump. I actually don't see a plus side to this. It's three times the mass, more than three times the complexity, but not three times the feed rate. So, yep. Okay, well, we'll see how it works out like this. Arrow. So I replaced the nose cone at the top. You know what? Let's replace these two. They're heavy. We're going minimal mass again. There are ways to cut back even more, but we'll uh, go with this first. It's a bit weird how asymmetric things are, but... Okay. Let's see how it goes. I really hate being this close to it. <laughs> okay, launch. Well, it's going up for now. Vertical speed is actually going down. Yeah, our pumpage is not good enough. Okay. Back to the pop pump. Gonna get quite a boost off the start, and then... Still have quite a lot of thrust. I'll put the acceleration up. Launch. Ooh, look at that. Much stress. Uh, 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 okay, fine, we're going this way. 3 G's. Oh, and staging. Whoa. And suddenly 6 G's. 9 G's. More than 10 G's. Uh, 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 I can't control it very well. Uh. Okay, we need an upper stage. This is why we need an upper stage. I've discovered why we need an upper stage. I can't really control it very well otherwise. Okay. Okay, so this is a much more challenging sort of experiment than I was thinking. Oh, we got some extra drag on this side. It looks like with these tanks... I mean, it depends. It looks like we can use, in theory, the experimental biofuel tank. The problem is, it feeds so quickly that we are going to be in big trouble. <laughs> hmm. I'll think about this. Yep, this has uh, gotten more complicated than I was thinking making a biofuel orbital rocket was gonna get. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.